So I've returned to going back in time throughout history and making just the worst decisions of my life. I'm going to map out the world as it happens so we can keep up to date. Now starting off, I can choose between four different events. We're either going to mess with writing discovery, rise of the Greek civilization, construction of the Taj Mahal, or okay, that's already? What a great start to this video. Now I want to start as early in the timeline as possible so it's easier to keep track of all these things. Men decide to transmit their thoughts in time through writing. How do you plan to change the past? I can either declare the written text demonic or unify all scriptures and languages. Ooh, what is that one? That Tower of, uh, Tower of Bi- what's it called? Tower of Babel. Yes, I was close. We're pretty much gonna construct that, maybe. Timeless Traveler, you create points of connection between Indus, Mesopotamia, and Egypt. I've just introduced the population to use a common alphabet, and we've already began to globalize the Earth. That happened in negative 3000 BC. In negative 800, we have the creation of the Great Mediterranean Civilization. Negative 200, the Mediterranean Empire merges with China, but then there's fragmentation of this same empire. Is this like a Rome? And since they're all using the same language, I'm guessing it's easier for everyone to like unify. Burning of the Great Library in Rome. So for a brief period of time, we basically had this empire out this way, unify with some sort of civilization from China. But that would leave a big empty space where like the Indus civilizations and Mesopotamia and things like that. So I'm actually going to go out on a limb here and assume that either this didn't exist or the Mediterranean civilization civilization probably consolidated with these guys too. So for about five centuries, this is what the old world looked like until like we said around 200 AD where the fragmentation of the empire began. And then there's the whole like Roman library thing that was burning down. But for the most part, this world would stem from like a similar origin. So whatever happens from here on out, we know that there is at one point a massive empire. Now let's go ahead and change up the birth of Jesus. We could either kidnap Jesus or prevent the crucifixion crucifixion of him. I'm just trying to think of some of the consequences for this. If he was never crucified, what would happen? And then if he was kidnapped, well, what would be worse? I just don't know what this means to kidnap him. Like, what are we going to do with him? Disguised as some king, I approached the baby Jesus and uh, stole him away. I've changed the fate of billions of people. So the dude just vanished. And now in 633, the Muslim faith unifies the people of the wet. Oh, I wasn't really expecting that, but I guess... I should have. Charles Martel takes the head of the Muslim Kingdom of Europe and makes it in an empire. Great Jihad of Great Muslim Empire against Asia. Constantinople, spiritual capital of the Great Muslim Empire. That's confusing. Oh, there's Muslim Protestants now. Vienna becomes spiritual capital of Great Muslim Empire. Okay, so basically we just got to do a little sign here. Uh, moon and star. That's a terrible moon. And like we read earlier, even though there was fragmentations, only a few centuries later, Europe reunited unified under Islam. And then they launched attacks on Asia in the name of Jihad. Then there was a moment where Constantinople was the head of this faith. And there was a schism. And for some reason, then Vienna became the head. I guess we can really only speculate exactly what the faith is doing now. This is more of a religious view, but I would assume maybe the Protestants continued to held on to Constantinople. And then whatever that other side is, maybe that's Austria now. But yeah, this is just like a faith map mode. Uh, it's not necessarily showing us the countries as a whole yet. Still don't know what's going on much in like Central Asia, South Asia, and then China. We still have so much to change still. Now we're going to mess with the Western Hemisphere. So Christopher Columbus here is either going to get lost in route or we're going to tell him straight up there's a new continent out there. He's looking for India. So we're just going to reveal to him the truth. I'm trying to remember what I did last time because I know I've changed this event before. If he gets lost, there might be like a Native American empire that rises up. But I don't even know what he would do if I explained to him what's all out there. So I went ahead and did that. Now I'm scared. So Chris has still discovered the new Spanish continent, and now the Spanish have migrated in mass to America. Remember, they're more than likely Muslim. Disease decimates the populations of two Americas. Spain founds that place on the Rock of Manhattan. The Holy See settles the uh, Nuva Heleva. Kingdom of Spain definitely destroys the local populations and sees North America. First insurrections of North America against the Kingdom of Spain. The Chorizo game in Boston. What? Do I even want to know what that is? I'm afraid to Google this right now. Is this some sort of offshoot of Squid Game? So strangely, that one didn't change all that much. Spain still went to the New World, decimated the native populations, and uh, they did get the 13 colonies though, and they might or might not be independent. It sounds like they are independent. I think no matter what happens, more than likely the Western Hemisphere would probably eventually become independent. And we have something going on in Manhattan as well too. I'm afraid to do this, but maybe we're going to find out more about Asia with the birth of Buddha. I'm 
actually going to avoid the spread faith in Buddha in the West since we already know that Islam takes over there. So I'm going to kidnap Buddha again, kidnapping another uh, spiritual figure. We out here just putting everyone in my scary white van. Oh crap. So we basically did the same thing except Hinduism has now extended to China. Wait a second. Now the birth of Jesus did happen? Oh, because I went further back in time with Buddha. That was negative 500 BC. So I actually stopped myself from stealing Jesus. Wars between Christians and Hindus throughout Europe. I think I got to redo my whole map now. Christianity is spreading in India by 805. Construction of the Great Cathedral of Angkor Wat. Destructor of the Cristo Redentor of the Taj Mahal. The Vatican settles in India. <laughs> okay, well, it sounds like more than likely Hinduism is still around, except it exists in China now. I guess we can just completely erase this lore. Okay, I tried my best to do like a Hindu symbol. I don't know if that is really that great though. So basically world religion extends all the way to Southeast Asia, because remember the Angkor Wat is now a cathedral and then Hinduism is just kind of still up here, which also makes all of America probably Christian as well, since Spain colonized that. Alright, it's time to finally figure out what happens in England. We are probably going to change the timeline a bit here. They might actually make it to the Americas now. So we're going back to the time of the Vikings. I'm actually going to oof William the Conqueror and see if the Vikings can't win in the British Isles. So Harald the Defender triumphed William. I mean, I kill him for you, but whatever. Hundred years of trouble, the Kingdom of England erupts following the revolts of the Lords. Lord Henry VI ascends the throne of England, becoming the King. Spanish Armada crushes the English fleet. I just made Spain more powerful. This dude just wrote Hamlet, first French colony in America, St. Jean. So it's not just Spain over there, at least we know that. England, weakened by civil wars, integrates the Kingdom of France. Kingdom of France undertakes the colonizing of America. Now we have the Boston Sausage Party. Oh, that's what the joke was. Instead of tea, it became chorizo, now it's sausage. Shouldn't it be baguettes for France? Okay, well, either way, we can now confirm the existence of a French empire that also controls England. Now, they did just say England, right? I think, technically speaking, they would only control the south here. Maybe they wouldn't even control Wales, I wonder. Scotland, Wales, and Ireland just doing their own thing. Some of this is going to be French, definitely. It's hard to say what exactly. I guess I'll give them Louisiana for sure. I think it did say they took over as the colonizer of America. But I'm still gonna keep Spain with a lot of things. We're already seeing a whole lot happen in this world already. Now, wait a second. Maybe we still can create somewhat of a native empire. I can prepare the Incas for European invasion or teach the Incas the art of ocean navigation. Oh, that sounds exciting. Maybe the Incas, where would they go? Go to Australia? I'm gonna do that. So their sun god has given the Incas the science of the oceans. The Incas, they did it. They arrived in Australia and founded Kul's the Inca Empire has built this city of gold and uh, oh in 1704 they repeal European settlers in Australia Let's go opening the Inca Empire to the world in 1904 So I guess they went with a plan of isolationism now I can't confirm if the Inca are still around in South America I'm gonna say maybe they are but maybe after like, you know a couple century like one century They might be somewhat tied to Australia, but they're different nations like Brazil and Portugal for instance So the Incans are not going to allow any Europeans into Oceania. I love it. Oh boy, here we go. The slave trade. Now I can sink the ships in the triangular trade or expand them in India specifically. Now India is like the head of Christianity here. I'm gonna go ahead and sink them then so they don't mess with our lore. A sea monster sinks merchant ships in Africa. European commercial fleets are devastated. This dude goes around the Atlantic without finding the sea monster. The Spanish Armada reigns over the seas. Well, we already knew that. Well, France is pretty strong too though. European settlers are massacred by the Indians. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what are we talking about here? Which, are we talking about India or Native Americans? Europe abandons America to its fate. African immigrants colonize Haiti. Peace treaty between the United um, Armenian nations. Did we just ruin all of this? Is this all gone now? We have some African nations somewhere around here, probably, and they have colonized Haiti, but I'm just gonna give them the full island itself, which would make sense because we still have the Inca out here in South America. I think I'm able to keep up with this. Here we go. Let's figure out what's going on in Japan. I was just going to give their islands to China, but uh, yeah, let's see what's going on. Ooh, I could submit Japan to America, but right now there's nobody in America. So I'm going to maintain the Shogunate. Um, so the Shogunate and its ninjas repeal the black ships of Perry. The army of Japanese ninjas is trying to invade, oh, that's that island north of them, to be pushed back. Franco-Japanese negotiation to open Japan. The French ambassador is beheaded. Oh, and you don't want to mess with France in this timeline. They're pretty powerful. Russia annexed Japan. A ninja from the Oblast 
Last of Japan assassinates Nikolai II, <gasps> a ninja from, uh, oh, he's also assassinated Hilter. This is in 1921 also. The ninja hunt, Russia is suspected of inflicting all of the great world powers. They're being blamed for everything. The ninjas repeal the Americans in Vietnam. These things are powerful. Okay, so I'm going to assume that this wouldn't change communism too much. They still assassinated Nikolai, but then again, just because former Russian monarch is gone doesn't necessarily mean they resorted to communism. That is pretty scary, and they also have the Japanese islands. I thought we were gonna read that, like, the whole world declared war on Russia, but somehow they got lucky. Ninjas are... OP. I think this is like the perfect lead up modification. So what happens in Russia? Make a peaceful revolution or make a capitalist revolution? Well, we know it's not peaceful because a ninja just assassinated Nikolai. So I guess we're gonna see a com uh, no, a capitalist Russia. I'm getting confused. So the October capitalist revolution starts in 1912, just a year after Japan did their thing. Russia adopts the US dollar and aligns with the US economy. So there is a US. It might or might not be French or Spanish. Hilter is no longer Oofed. He is a commie now. The Black Thursday crash plunges the whole world into terror. Hilter's communist union becomes the first world power. Oh no. With great sacrifices, America and Russia unite to make capitalism triumph over communist Germany. Creation of American-Russian Union, the Capitalist Pact. Whoa. The Capitalist Pact conquers China and Asia. What? Russia and America merge into one country, Proxia. Proxia annex socialist Europe. Proxia introduces the concept of eco-colonization and applies it to Europe and Asia. Proxia eco-colonization the African continent. Whoa. The Faction of, uh, Kami- Oh. Okay, that's- Alright. So it sounds like we live in like a capitalist mega society. So first of all, Russia and America unite as a capitalist pact. I'm guessing we definitely need to change this red that Russia has to like a dark green. Green for cash money. They already have Japan. There was a communist Germany led by a skinny mustache man, but I guess he did not last very long. He got crushed and now there's just a bunch of like client states in Europe and in Asia. Okay, we'll see what the Spanish flu does around the world. That shouldn't change our lore too much. Propose a vaccine immediately. Medical revolution and demographic transition in 1796. We can change that. That wasn't there before. Advance the understanding of viruses. We've annihilated H1N1. Theory of new medicine in 1922. DNA sequencing in 1935. We're defeating some pretty bad things. Discovery of cancer therapy. Creation of universal viral therapy. Further the first human without being aged in 1997. Okay, so people just stop dying by 2000. Didn't expect that. Well, maybe there could be like a war that, I don't know, pops up. This is a strange world, but I'm able to like kind of map it out, map out the different areas. Africa still has Haiti. Inca has something in Australia that they're, they're probably like in an alliance, but I would assume this place probably got its independence eventually. They share similar cultures though. Christianity is spread everywhere, but China is like a Hindu focused area. Japan got taken over by capitalist Russia. Yeah, why not change this pill while we're at it? Create a super pill that allows everyone to control births. No, that doesn't sound fun. Let's prevent the invention. So pretty much no one is going to be able to say oof and there's going to be zero birth control methods. Well, I don't know about zero birth control methods, but pretty effective one is just going to vanish. I think we're in for some overpopulation. Research has stopped. The Vatican publishes some things. The Vatican from India, I'm assuming. The fight against overcrowding has been declared the world's biggest threat by 1972. Feminist revolts in Europe. The world's population reaches 20 billion by 1981. We're not even at 20 billion yet in our world. Legalization and, uh, okay, people are oof themselves now. Hunger is the cause of... Oh. So you've stopped aging in 97, but people are still starving. That's unfortunate. Okay, just gonna add this little footnote right there. Okay. Can never speak too early in this game. Gotta be careful. Who needs a television? There's so much chaos happening in the world. Yeah, we're gonna just prevent the creation of television. I wonder if that, like, stops the internet or something. So, it's impossible to transmit an image at long distance. Industrialization of cinematic propaganda creation of cinema capitals in the West. So, like, there's still movies, but you have to go to theaters. There's no televisions in your home. Hilter took power thanks to movie Reich. Fascinating. Communists, by the way. Creation of Soviet wood in Russia to win the cinema Cold War. Who was that against? Because I thought they united. Mental illness abolishing the difference between a film and reality. And these films are getting really intense. Amazon Foundation, which will distribute home movies and become the most powerful company in the world. So they just like, I'm guessing just projectors. You should invest in projectors. Murderous attack against Hollywood upsetting humanity. So just the movie industry has become way too 
powerful. Someone's got to stop. And in a world full of capitalism, I'm sure it's getting nuts. There's like seven different MCU-like things going on. I'm afraid to change this one. Karl Marx publishes the Communist Manifesto. It's going to change some of our lore, I think. going to prevent the manifesto from being published, but I think that's going to backfire. So he's silenced by the authorities of the Kingdom of Prussia. The Tsar of Russia signs a peace treaty with America. Russia and America crushed the Third Reich. We saw that. Oh, they did it in two weeks, though, this time. Peace of the Stars America, Russian Cooperation Treaty. Okay. And they're calling... Oh, so they're colonizing planets now by 1948. We've also enslaved Southeast Asia. That adds to our lore. Let's go. Launch of the love. So basically, just the love thing has gone even closer. Both countries just like each other even more. So we did have confirmation that they took over all of Europe and China, but now they have Southeast Asia as well. India is probably independent, very, like, spiritual area of the world. So if Europe was mostly kind of repealed from America, let's see what they do with Africa. Create a colonization council. So we're going to go ahead and let them do this because I want to see something happen down there. So Belgium has now finished colonizing the last free country in Africa, the Congo. Oh, that's not good. War of Independence in Libya is put down by Italy. The Great War of Distance, the European powers are waging a world war by African colonies interposed. Forget the quarrel African revolts Europe undertakes to destroy Africa. Oh, wow. All the while we're like colonizing other planets. What are you doing? What is this kind of doing? There are now more white folks in Africa. Okay, this got really dark. Wow. Wow. Choosing one option and now I'm just like ruining everything. Now, technically they still got Haiti though. Maybe in Africa, but in Haiti something else is going on. Alright, so we know Italy has Libya. Keep in mind there was a brief moment where uh, I guess Europe was pretty communist. We also know Belgium exists and I definitely didn't have Belgium marked down. There's a very sad Belgian Congo here, unfortunately. So America and Russia just stopped Europe from being communist, but they didn't stop Europe from destroying Africa. That is unfortunate. Charles Darwin publishes The Origin of Species. We can either censor Darwin or popularize social Darwinism. Let's censor him. We already have like a lot of faith in this world. Let's see how crazy that's going to get. So his writings are considered dangerous. Church oversees the colonization of Africa by the European powers. So they were, they're now allowing this or maybe excited to do it. Church gives an opinion against the vote of women, which is abandoned. The Russian Revolution places Lenin, first Republican president of Russia. What? What does that have to do with anything? Hilter founds the German Workers' Party, which is going to be communist. Third Reich declares on world war against the rich. That's communist too. Declares the discovery of hierarchical, hierarchical DNA. Oh, and research is uh, prohibited. Wait, did we get rid of um, us figuring out how to stop aging? No, no, that's still there. So weirdly, this just made India even more powerful, right? I think that's kind of safe to say. Also, I should have done this before, but because France is the major superpower, they probably have the vast majority of Africa. I'm going to say this is like a no man's land. It's mostly the Sahara Desert anyways. Although Spain and Portugal deserve to get anything. Man, we didn't hear anything about Portugal. So I don't know. I think they got a little bit of chunk over here for their trade empire. I think they're just chilling in Australia. I think it's safe to say they probably would have either gotten New Zealand as well or New Guinea. Maybe each island broke off and did their own Incan independent thing. I think that might be likely. America's here. I think they're French too. I think this is a French Christian America. Japan definitely didn't have as big of an impact the last 200 years as they did in our timeline. With Europe being so like uh, religious, they probably brought that down to Africa. My favorite thing though is just China being the lone Hindus of the world. Now that I think about it, Oceania is probably whatever faith the Inca were following. We saw it was like something with the sun. So I'm just going to draw like a sun symbol, the sun god. Now I'm just guessing that they would get up here. I don't know. So there's probably three main faiths, but the other two are way behind the main one. But even if just Hinduism is kept in China, that's still a lot of Hindus in China. I didn't see any like terrible disaster that happened here. So they probably still have a lot of population. Maybe in this world, there's some sort of like Celtic union since England's controlled by France. Probably unlikely. I think they probably would have all done their own thing, but you don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if these guys like maybe colonized Greenland or something. Maybe a couple of the other like northern territories. France still got to Quebec and then got to Boston, but maybe they got something over here. Maybe Iceland or the Scandinavians did that. We didn't really figure out anything with northern Europe. I put Denmark under Germany, but you know, I don't know. There's space here for like maybe a Poland that could have survived. Roman library burned down. India leads Christianity. Ninjas are OP. Okay, people just stopped dying. Wait, never mind. They, okay. I guess if you've learned anything, definitely do not give me a time machine. And big thanks to I Stole Drew's Pet Dog. I Love Marks. Drew's Arab Sugar Daddy. Luxembourg Lover. King Corey. Drew's Argentinian Grandpa. Canadian Union. Dalton D. Bring Back Poland Barnsky W. Aryan After Hours. Fat Norwal. Alfonso M. Ivan Lima. Majestic Unicorn. Populous Michael. Max Cooper. Mick Blorf. Mimo Shiki. Mind Brothers 999. Robert Philip e. R. And Ride the Pie. 